Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO City Police Patrol Boat. This is set number 60129, 200 pieces exactly, um, age range is 5 to 12. We have a couple minifigures, we've got the police patrol guys, and then we've got some villains up to some, some no good. So there's this huge boat uh, piece, and then there's also the raft piece. So, let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to tilt this down a bit where we can see everything. And bam. There you go. One more bag in there. There you go. So, here's that big pre-molded boat piece. It actually will float. And then there's a raft piece that... It's kind of open underneath, but I bet it would probably float as well. We have some numbered bags. We have bag three, bag two, and a bag one. And actually have a large sticker sheet and two instruction books. So instruction book one looks like it builds the bad guy raft. And then instruction book two, which is the bigger one, builds the police boat and all the accessories. So, let's start with the raft and bag number one. We do have one of the bad guys that we're going to build now. And this is a female character. You can see she's wearing her black gloves. That way she doesn't leave fingerprints anywhere. Um... She has kind of a medium length hair piece. And she of course has her angry face. She, yeah, just single printed face. So that's one minifigure. We we'll start with the boat and the first step that we do with this boat is actually put a few stickers on it. So these are little stitches stickers so it looks like this is a raft of some sort that has been damaged and they patched it up and stitched it up to make sure that it holds air and can still float and use it as the getaway boat. All right. So that's it for those stickers. Now we have some anti-tiles put on the bottom and this will create a smoother surface on the bottom that would allow it to slide around on a table if you play with it on a hard surface with a carpet. We have a plate with a bar on it that's going to be where the motor is going to be attached. Anti-tile, a brick with studs on the side. Inverted slope. Couple modified plates with a clip. Sloped brick. Slotted tile. Put a couple dark bluish gray cones on there. And that clips on the back, and you can see it can be lifted up or down and creates the kind of a jet engine. All right, now we're going to work on the inside of this boat or raft. The power raft has a motor on it. Thank you. 
instructions, like most all city sets, are overly simplified, meaning that each step only has one or two parts that you assemble. So it really makes it simple to follow along. So if you struggle putting sets together, city sets may be a good uh, I guess theme you could buy to get used to um, building techniques and all the different types of bricks that they use in Lego sets in general. So they do use a good variety of parts, you know, unlike like a Ninjago type set or a Star Wars set, they use a lot more technical pieces. A lot of true Lego Technic pieces that tend to cause some trouble for some builders. A lot of these jumper plates with slotted tiles. Alright, we have one more seat up front. We have a well, sack that has the stolen money in it. Have a jumper tile there. Now we have this pretty long chain. Plastic chain, it's not metal, but it has chain links. And this end of the chain that doesn't have the hook attaches to this square jumper tile in the front of the boat. So it's kind of like an anchor, but what it's going to be used for is a play feature that we'll see after we build the police boat. So our female villain goes in there, she's the driver of this getaway boat. Alright, so that completes bag one and instruction book one. So now we're on to bag number two. always a small bag of parts in the big bag that way they don't get all mixed together all right. so we have a couple police workers let's see there's two torsos and they are identical So each one of these figures gets a life preserver. The difference between them is the face. They have different face printings. So this is a, uh, a guy with just a kind of a stern looking smirk on his face. And he's wearing a baseball cap. And then the next one same legs, same torso, same life preserver, but the difference is the face printing. And this one has safety goggles and a big toothy grin with the same baseball hat. So the only thing different between these two police figures is the face. And then lastly we have the crook or bad guy or villain whatever you want to call him and uh, he's got the angry face going on of course he wears the stocking cap and the printing is pretty cool on this torso it's printed as if he has a kind of a gut or a belly you can see the way that this prison shirt is kind of bowed open it's like he's got a belly sticking out then he's got um, something stained on his shirt, on the orange shirt. So that's pretty cool. I've never seen a, a pudgy Lego minifigure before. Alright, so.
So, first off, just like with the raft, zoom out a bit more. Just like the raft, we're um, starting with some stickers. These are big, long police stickers. Go down the side of the boat. Well, just shows one of them on for now. I'm sure we'll do the other one here in a minute. So the good thing about this molded boat piece is that it already has pretty much all the exposed studs, everything that we need to to start building on it. It's kind of like a, a glorified base plate is really what it is. It's just molded in the shape of a, a boat. So it, it makes for really, really quick building because we don't have to worry about building all of this. Unlike with a like pirate ship or say like the Sea Cow set where you had to build all of the boat hole piece. This is um, done for you. Uh, let's see here. Is that the right piece? Yeah, I guess it just goes like that. It's kind of interesting. A little bit different way of connecting this piece together. Clip on the top and a handlebar. So this is a searchlight, that's what this is. We'll put a stud in there. Or it's a Technic pen with a stud. It goes right there on the front. Slotted tiles, white brick. We have these wedge bricks, pretty big wedges. Can't say that I've seen them this big before. Tile and a trans blue one by one round tile. The slotted tiles, two by two jumper tile in the middle. All right, turn it around, and now we'll put the other sticker on. And just like the other side, just a long police symbol. Server. This kind of looks like a bed. Goes in there. one bricks and we have a like, prison bar type element that goes in this black frame that goes right in between these tall bricks a couple trans light blue panels with one by two brick Some wedge plates. Just 
slopes and some trans one by one light pieces. Or I guess they're they don't light up, but they're supposed to be uh, yeah, use your imagination. That's what they are. They're lights. We have this big trans light blue windscreen. jail bar door thing that goes on the top right there so there's our our boat jail so when we capture the, the the bad guys that's where we can put them and they actually show this guy in there on the bed so there he is getting some shut eye while he's in jail. Alright, so that completes bag two. So we are now on to the third and final bag. Not many pieces in this bag. Really not many pieces in this set in general. Like I said, only 200 pieces in this set. So, to split it up among three bags, that's only um, about 68 pieces per bag, give or take a few. Alright, so we're going to continue building on to the boat and make this little frame element. and a tile and then a large plate that goes all the way across the top bricks so it's the kind that you put the uh, this little plate type element on the top put a jumper tile and you can see it hinges we'll do another one so there's both of those you can see the way those hinge uh, and the way they can easily fall apart if you play with it before you're done building it. Alright, we have a ladder to get to this upper deck area. We have another vertical fin that we're going to put a sticker on. It's a zero two 2 sticker. other side gets the other zero two sticker so these fins are double-sided but we're only putting the sticker on one side the side that's exposed on the left or right side of the model so you can see the sticker here but on this inside one you can't but if you turn it over you can see it on the other side Alright, so down here we're going to put six of these one-by-one one modified plates with a clip on it. There's two, three, four, five, and six. the 
closet. Now we're going to load this up with accessories. First is a standard Lego City coffee mug. We have a walkie-talkie. We have some binoculars. And we have handcuffs. So a good assortment of, of things that police need. The other thing we're going to do is a little light paddle thing. Goes there. And a flashlight, which is a lightsaber handle with a trans yellow stud on it. And that clips on, on the end. So there's all of our police accessories attached to that panel back there. We have some long antennas that go back here on these little angled brick pieces or, or uh, hinge, hinge brick pieces. One by one tiles, sloped bricks, a chair, and we have our navigation controls. These are printed. Two by two sloped bricks. Let's go there. And we have this half round plate and a solid white windscreen. We're going to use our last sticker. It goes right in the middle that windscreen and you can read what it says pretty big sticker all right slotted tiles some blue trans blue one by one round tiles and our light blue windscreen This is going to be our top fin area that has some lights and small antenna and a loud hailer speaker. And then we're going to have this communication satellite dish type thing. Goes like that that right on top and that completes the build of the Lego City police patrol boat so we have our patrol guys this guy can stand up here somewhere and then the play feature of this which is not very very big is the, the hook element that we sh saw earlier. It goes up here and hooks onto the, the prison door. And then when the boat drives off, you can see it pulls it off. And then he can sit up and say, ha ha ha, see ya suckers, and he's gone. So that is really the only play feature of this set. Like I said, the boat floats. There's no uh, no flick fires, no any type of crazy 
crazy things that are sometimes unnecessary. So pretty cool little basic set. So yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Tell me your thoughts. Put a comment down below. Do you have this set? Do you want it? Do you need it? Do you love it? Let me know. I'd like to see your thoughts. So um, that's it for this one. Make sure to subscribe and we will see you next time.